Hey, ladies and gents, how's it going? Hope you're having a fan fucking tastic day. This is Fandom Empire Now, and we're here today to discuss the Project Luminous announcement that went down last night out in California. We waited all night for it. Of course, they couldn't keep schedule or be on time. And I mean, what would a Star Wars announcement be if it didn't go according to plan? Uh, we're here today to discuss the High Republic. That's right. It has been confirmed now, finally that the new era of Star Wars storytelling is none other than the High Republic. And, uh, you know, this was reported a long time ago, uh, a couple months back, making Star Wars had reported the uh, possibility of the next era of Star Wars being essentially um, a, a retelling um, or a new take on the Old Republic, but closer to the current times. And uh, we're going to get into... All that juicy stuff, make no mistake about it. Uh, the big things, for me anyways, that came out of this announcement last night uh, absolutely had to be uh, Light of the Jedi, the first novel that will come out August 25th uh, by Charles Soule, and then the follow-up novel, Into the Dark, which I can only assume, I don't know the release date on this, but I have to assume that it's probably late November, early December, and that one's being done by the great Claudia Gray uh, for my money, the best uh, Star Wars uh, storyteller on paper, anyway, in the uh, the new Disney era of Star Wars uh, since they asked uh, Legends. Uh, there's a lot of other things that were announced, um, and we will get to that. But uh, just off the top, these two covers are absolutely beautiful. Uh, when you look at the character's attire... Uh, specifically the Light of the Jedi one. It gives you a real uh, Old Republic feel, uh, a Knights of the Old Republic feel. I get it, it's not 4,000 or 5,000 years ago, and you know what, that happens. Uh, but when you look at the uh, the female-led Jedi there at the front, uh, and you look at what she's wearing, it's very reminiscent to what the, uh, the male Jedi slash Sith is wearing in the uh, Knights of the Old Republic launch trailer that came out way back in 2002, I believe. It was attached to Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Uh, so I'm liking what I'm seeing here. The Claudia Gray novel looks a little darker. It does say Into the Dark. Uh, I'm excited about this. What we know is that uh, uh, The High Republic takes place 200 or so years before uh, the prequel trilogy. Um, so that's exciting. Brand new era. You know, couple of uh, centuries in the past. Uh, it gives some possibilities of some characters that we've known for a long time popping up but we'll save that for another video uh it, it's going to be interesting to see what they do for this uh again uh there's comics and young readers novels announced we're going to focus in on the two main novels that have been announced so far uh by charles soul and claudia gray uh that's going to be our focus here at fandom empire uh we are going to have uh wall-to-wall -wall coverage on both of these novels and doing extensive reviews on it uh so that's exciting stuff uh also though uh we seen a lot of concept art last night if uh you're someone who's liked the making of movies for star wars over the years and loves taking a look at the the making of shit then you know you might like uh, all the concept art they showed last night. I know the guys over at Making Star Wars have a complete listing of, listing of it. Uh, the drop trailer was really cool. A lot of focus on Coruscant. Uh, really felt like the little space station in the sky looked a lot like Centerpoint Station. I have a feeling it's going to turn out to be some sort of Jedi sanctuary in space, which is cool and it's different, and I think different is good uh, for where we are right now. Uh, the High Republic kicks off August 25th, 2020. Uh, you have novels, comics, uh, young readers' novels as well. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what comes of this. Uh, endless possibilities, uh, for sure, no doubt. Uh, I think the one thing that I need to make clear, though, to all you is if you follow our channel, uh, one thing we won't be doing is giving extensive, uh, reviews on the comics at least that's not the plan right now uh the comics and the young readers novels not that there's anything against those uh but we're gonna focus in on the novel series however if something earth shattering or groundbreaking happens with those novels then uh then maybe we will cover it but we're really gonna uh provide a focus on uh what's coming in the uh the full-length novels uh no announcement i believe on how many there will be which 
I find kind of interesting. I thought we would have got that information out of them last night, uh, but apparently they didn't. Um, so there on your screen, you see some of the novels that are coming out. Uh, there's a young reader's novel off to the left there, and then the two main novels in the middle. Uh, and the adventure begins 2020. Uh, look, I have no problem saying right now, and you guys can leave you know terrible comments if you want, that I'm not the biggest fan of the new trilogy. I started off way up here. I was really high on The Force Awakens. Uh, I didn't really resonate with The Last Jedi, and like it came way down. And then the, the Rise of Skywalker brought me a little bit up, but you can tell it's you know it was rushed and not what was originally planned and not what's well thought out. When you look at this new novel series, though, um, publishing series, connected storytelling, this is something that was first proposed back in 2014, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what they bring to the table. They have uh, villains called the Nil, which were described or Nihil, uh, which were described as space Vikings. Uh, I find them interesting. I, I find them different, which is important. Uh, we're going to see more of a Western style storytelling with Jedi's patrolling the borders of the Republic, uh, which is also interesting. On the launch trailer, had a focus on Coruscant. Yes, please bring us back to Coruscant. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the long run here uh, with what they decide to do. Uh, I want to bring you back to a report that Making Star Wars had. Now, uh, they said take it as rumor, so it's not like they were saying, you know, they, they weren't stamping it saying this is this is it, this is finalized. But uh, you see here uh, in the image, it says the next Star Wars film saga to be set during the High Republic era. Those that are thinking this is just some publishing uh, series that aren't really interested in, uh, you know, following novels or comics or young readers' novels or have you what, uh, it's our belief, and it's definitely making Star Wars' belief, and I mean, those guys got a great track record. They don't throw shit against the wall hoping it sticks, uh, that the next Star Wars film series is going to take place during this era. So this gives them a chance to build some... Source material, even though they apparently had none, um, to, to work off. So I'm intrigued, uh, even though, you know, I can be a little bit cynical about Star Wars at times, even though it's my, I mean, clearly you see behind me, it's, it, it's my number one fandom. I haven't really been impressed with the direction. Uh, I did think last night's announcement would have more. I knew that it wasn't going to contain the film stuff. They'd said that previously, but believe me, the end goal here is for the High Republic to be the next Star Wars film series. And it'll be interesting over the months and next year uh, what comes of that. Maybe we'll hear something at Star Wars Celebration. Um, I'm not even sure I'd get my hopes up for that. I'm not sure I'd get my hopes up for the first movie being 2022. At this point, 2023 probably seems more likely. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, it's a long way off. Uh, but I'd rather it be a long way off and get proper quality than rush something for the sake of rushing it. I uh, I really think that this is our next Star Wars uh, movie series. Uh, so do a lot of other people. Um, is it what you want? It's essentially, uh, you know, Disney's take on the Old Republic and uh, having it much closer to the time of the movies that we know. Uh, are you satisfied with that? Are you worried they're going to ruin things? Will they even involve past things? Uh, I'm really excited to get to know the new characters, uh, new planets, old planets, um, and I know a lot of people are a little bent out of shape today in terms of wondering if there's going to be any Sith in it or not, and uh, thinking that because of the air and timeline they announced that that means the Sith are out. Uh, I don't necessarily think that is the uh, that's the case. I think when it's all said and done, uh, these uh, this is just an off of the top of my head prediction, but. I wouldn't be surprised if you see Jedi travel into the unknown regions and that's where the Sith actually are lying in wait. Uh, so to think that there's going to be no Sith involvement in any of this, I think is a little foolhardy. Uh, I think they're saving them. They should save them. And I think there's a lot more to this than uh, people think. Uh, I wish they would have stuck to the initially reported four or 500 years before. 200 years still feels a little close. Um... But it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm excited. Cautiously optimistic. Uh, someone gave me shit today for being cautiously optimistic. But 
You know, if you don't go into things a little cautiously optimistic with the track record recently, you're bound to get expectations that aren't going to be met, and that's that's not cool for anyone. Uh, so there you have it. Star Wars, The High Republic, officially announced. It is your next heir in Star Wars storytelling, uh, which is pretty fucking awesome if you ask me. Uh, are you guys excited for it? Is this what you wanted from the next era of Star Wars? Why don't you comment uh, down below, and uh, we'd love to re read what you have to say. Uh, don't forget to click the uh, like button and the subscribe button. We could use all the support that you guys are willing to offer us. Uh, we're in the infancy here as a channel. We had a podcast for quite a long time. Uh, that said, uh, we're here now. We're here to stay. We're on YouTube. And you can check us out at the following places. Facebook, we have our main page, Fandom Empire. Go check that out. Uh, we just launched a Star Wars The High Republic news page. We launched uh, the High Republic Alliance Facebook group. We have the Fandom Empire Roundtable Facebook group. If you're a Halloween fan, we have Halloween Kills 2020. Uh, if you're a Supernatural fan, we have Supernatural Revisited page. Uh, we have a podcast coming out of that podcast slash YouTube show coming out of that once Supernatural ends. We have a Darth Revan page over on Twitter. You can follow us at Fandom Empire Now. You can follow me at Sage Wastelands. And on Instagram, we are at Fandom Empire Now. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.